somehow there's a republic of beyond Athens, beyond Greece, beyond just Western civilization. It's our shadow play that's it, you know, whether it's Jurassic Park, whether it's Avatar, whether it's um, Star Wars, all the journeys that we take have a form, but we didn't just make that up in the movie that you saw when you went to the movie theater. It came from somewhere. And actually, as it turned out, it came from here, right here. Ξεκινάμε το τούρ της έκθεσης με δύο αυτοπορτρέτα, το ένα το οποίο είναι μελάνι σε χαρτί και το άλλο είναι χαρακτική, το οποίο είναι από το 1970 και μετά πηγαίνουμε στη σειρά αυτών των έργων, όπου είναι πορτρέτα από διάφορες υπήρες του κόσμου, από ανθρώπους που γνώρισε και έτσι ξεκινάει το, το τούρ της έκθεσης. A little seed was sort of planted that's now coming into fruition, particularly as I walk into this gallery, which is that the spirit of place of Athens is actually dictating from somewhere deep. And I get to express myself creatively. I might not be painting anymore, but you know, through exhibitions and uh, setting up, curating you know, the space and uh, having these, uh, these events, I get to express my creativity. And I, one of the reasons I really enjoy what I do is that I found that creative outlet that, you know, has kind of gone with the, the fact that I don't paint anymore. So it all came from the 70s as a place that I had explored. And I think I brought a lot of that to their world because it wasn't just a cinema world you know based upon other movies it was based upon having been out in the world what i actually experienced and some of the movies have a lot of very almost direct correlation to where i went at certain times so many uh, adventures and journeys in these movies that i've worked on from Avatar to Back to the Future to Star Wars and Forrest Gump. It almost feels like it goes all around a world, not necessarily a linear world, but one that's, um, it's the one in my head that all started back when I was 20 years old, traveling around the world. I think the, the piece that's in this room that influences all the pieces is, of course, the directors, the philosophers whose work I was visualizing or helping to visualize in the process. Steven Spielberg, Robert Zemeckis, James Cameron, J.J. Abrams, these are philosophers who are expressing through their stories and particularly through the visualization of their stories. And that's the association I had with particularly Steven Spielberg and uh, Bob Zemeckis because back and forth for 20 years we just went to all these worlds together and explored them and then they were very supportive of my visions that were in line with theirs and then how we could realize them. So it's like a full circle that actually not only defines a philosophy, a spirit of place and cinematic expression that gets put out into the world over centuries. And of course, working on the movies that go out into the world, I view it as a visual philosophy. Mm -hmm.